Oh, that's some terrible wind right there. <laughs> did you guys enjoy that project for awesome that you guys definitely did because I asked you to do it? If you looked at how much money I have left, you would definitely know that I did enjoy it. I'm broke. I ended up spending over $100 when in actuality I only spent about 75 USD. Okay, in reality I probably spent like 80. But I really like doing the super chats, man. That was fun. I annoyed everyone, but it was fun. But it's okay though, money's not my problem. First of all, because I'm part of a first world country among the highest in terms of wealth and lowest in terms of population, so... I'm pretty good when it comes to funds or general lifestyle because I've been the probably one of the luckiest places to live ever. And secondly, I'm doing four shifts this week. Four opening shifts. That's like 20 hours. I'm gonna get my money back instantly. I'm gonna be a tired wreck, but I'm gonna get my money back instantly. My camera stand kinda broke. Good thing is I recently bought a phone camera stand, so you get to see things in 1080 now. Until this stand breaks, I mean I got it from AliExpress, it's probably gonna break. It's cheap, it's probably wobbling like crazy. I didn't get much sleep in the past ever, so uh, yeah, gonna be a little spazzy with the camera ring ing. Don't know if my sentences make much sense, but they're sentences, so what does it matter? It's not like they got sense in them. They don't actually have sense in them. You may be asking why I like to film in completely random places around town. There's a simple answer for that. First I want you guys to guess. No, it's not so that you guys can experience the wonders of this red town with its dusty air. Though, good guess. The real reason is because the natural lighting in my room ain't top notch, even though the audio quality is probably better. Oh, wind, lovely. So breezy. So breezy. You know, this hill has been great for helping me learn how to walk. I've struggled how to walk ever since, ever, because of my soul skate. If you don't know what a soul skate is, it is this free wheel triangular skateboard. Its back wheel broke recently, and I've had to deal an entire two months without it. Since then, I've been trying to learn how to walk for the first time in a long time. I cannot remember when I walked last. I've always soul skated. The soul skate is an extremely important part of my life, and I have been struggling for a long time without it. In spite of how terrible it is to have lost my soul skate for an entire two months, perhaps more, until I get my wheel, at least I can go out of it saying I have finally learnt how to walk. Ugh. I think, in fact, I have become quite proficient at it. Look at the mountain I scaled up and down from. Whoa.